hello everyone welcome 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 to your youtube channel dehydrates academy my name is jazzy today uh i'm not feeling well but uh that's why i'm trying to make this video very concise and uh you know on point and i'm not gonna spam the group today with a lot of uh, updates so i'm not i'm just gonna making this video uh for for well explanation and all together combined in one window to to elaborate what i am looking at right now and uh, how i see the market behavior in the upcoming days and weeks like for for example tomorrow what is the most probable scenario at the moment and uh, all of these combined in this video i'm going to talk today so yesterday we gave a really nice update that above this tpo value yellow if it's flip into the resistance we're gonna go towards the tpo c and the tpo value area high taking the buy side liquidity as well and right now as you can see at the moment we are having resistance at uh, you know like on this liquidity level buy side liquidity level which is at twenty five thousand two hundred ballpark so um, what i believe is we already deviated and displays above this uh, equal highs around here you see so what i am expecting right now is uh, there is a lot of long positions uh, is happened in the yesterday late night uh, like midnight in new york session so a lot of the people who are you know degenerates jump on the gun on this price action uh, if you want to know you can just uh pull or put this uh you know like on buy buy bid btc usd you can see 38 million uh and positive delta that means a lot of uh longs are coming in at this point riding this pump trying to ride this pump you know so basically we what, what we need to know is uh there's a lot of over leverage traders are also jumping on the gun at that point so we need to understand that market is not like that market is don't give like um, free rides to the plebs you know no, no free rides so i feel that this is going to be range bound for for a choppy move to to wreck some over leverage and stop out those people or maybe we're gonna fill out the imbalance that has been created yesterday on this vector candle on this impulsive move to the upside so um, what i'm what i am uh basically looking for right now is you know uh the style of our trading is really simple at the moment uh just give just give me the uh overview of what what i just uh updated last time mm, yeah you see here i just updated that we have been flipping this to to uh, 20 uh, simple moving average here and i just give everyone uh the uh, understanding that above the weekly naked poc which has been resistance previously at uh you know like 22,900. i said that these two race these these two blue lines they race i just uh, put them on the chart for my upcoming uh resistance and support area so this is this this will be used later on i will be giving you an update why i just put that this is really necessary and um i have some uh insight hindsight you can say for these two lines and i will be explaining it later on right now we just give the sma2 sma20 update that uh, our area of interest at them at that time you see SMA20, uh, we said that it's flipping into support and going to upside. Claiming this TPO value yellow will trigger this pump to the upside more. And that is exactly happened uh, last time when I was uh, in the live session with my members, uh, Monino. I just give him the update that this is going to blast off. And uh, also there is other, other members that approach me on my personal inbox uh, uh for for the updates they want to know what is going to happen next so i just give them the 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 12 hour scenario that in this 12 hour candle below you see this this is going to displace above it uh, on 12 hour candle like for example i'm just giving you uh here i just giving them example the 12 hour candle if displace above the range high this candle and flip it into support then there will be a blast coming in 
uh, towards TPOC and maybe more upside and that's what happened exactly it's blast of every single you know pump uh, sorry the dump and it just re top, uh, break the all of the resistance in that in that particular area it doesn't respect it the value area high as well and just pumped up so badly and right now what I believe that we have a lot of imbalances above uh, above us and if we just keep pumping up and make the 25k that is the level of interest if if we if if bitcoin make twenty five thousand dollars only that's that's only twenty five thousand dollars if we br make support above it right now we are below it you know on 12 hour candle we are below this level twenty five thousand dollars this is the you know the tpo level as well and also the um, volume level as well so um i just know that this is really critical level for me uh, to understand that below it we are good and uh, it might just reverse down to fill the imbalances to the downside but if it displays above this 12 hour candle and close above it on 12 hour candle then there will be more chances that uh, this cme gap can fill to the upside aligned with our hedgers level hedgers uh, pocket which is 1.272 Fibonacci and 1.3414 Fibonacci level uh, relying at 37k if I want your uh, if you want uh, the confluences you can have it the TPOC is also sitting at 27,440 so combined together the CME chart our hedgers level and uh, uh, the, the, the you know the TPOC 27,440 27,440 and you know this is also aligned with our CME level so so a uh, CME uh, hedgers pocket also combined with this uh, fair value uh, CME gap so in my opinion uh, there are there, there, there will be chances if we reclaim it this place above it on 12 hour candle body close above the 25k $25,000 then high chances we are going to fill this inefficiency volume gap cme gap and the hedgers pocket and the tpoc and then we can range bound here like this and then we can bart 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 it down to the bart it there and then distribute it and then go to the downside this is what i am expecting uh okay so let's come back to the point um okay uh, as far as the legacy market is concerned you see the traditional market has been you know nasdaq is performing really well breakout as we anticipated the pd equilibrium gonna be the support here as you can see i already predicted this move that our uh, sp oh sorry uh, us 100 the nasdaq is going to 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 perform really well on this PD equilibrium level you see you see here we we were targeting this I'm sorry <clears throat> excuse me yeah we were targeting this previous daily equilibrium uh, at this point and uh, the front run of this monthly level that is our key level that uh, to take profit on Nasdaq uh, so now let's get back to the chart. You see, it 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 uh, all, uh, all exactly uh, uh, makes support above PD equilibrium and pump to the upside uh, towards this uh, value area high level, but also front run it. And now we just retest it, and you can say back tested the channel uh, channel high and uh, also this same level of interest. I think this is the key level right now, and. Uh, um, in this you know friday or maybe on monday we can we can have a rally towards monthly uh level maybe gap up towards the monthly level so this is what i'm expecting right now on the market uh, on nasdaq and if i if we go towards the uh, smb 500 smb 500 is just ranging in the in the channel right now this that we just created earlier this is the channel and this is the order block that has been respected twice two times you know and uh, if I just make the pull to to the larger scale like for example like this you see it's respected second time as well first time it just give the bounce towards the 1.59 percent and the second time it just give you 
the bounce of uh, one person almost so this is the key level if we break this we're going towards uh, uh if we if if for example like from tpu value very high is the is the resistance and the key level here if uh, if it does not reclaim above it for example like this then high chances like 80 percent chances we are going towards um front run of this poc uh you see we, we, we front run here so it might be possible that we are going to take the liquidity to the downside towards the vpoc and the swing failure pattern you see here on the swing failure level at one hour time frame so po probably we are going to take the range low this is the range low we take the range low and then high chances i am targeting this single prints and buy side liquidity here with aligning with our hr box on the larger scale macro time frame so probably this is the tpo analysis so combined the vp uh, volume analysis vpoc and also the range analysis uh, we are in the range right now <clears throat> yeah let's come back to the other stuff mm. okay what i want to do the next yeah you see here <clears throat> you see here we are we are uh, almost uh, on the on the lower time frame like 30 minutes we are displaced above this high okay let me just mark it here and then we just come down taking the sweep sweeping the highs and we are below it right now so high chances that the price can move down towards filling all of these single prints okay like for example these are the single prints at twenty three thousand eight ninety seven and four thirty two and thirty twenty three thousand one thirty five, all of these are the single print. This is this this is the most of, of the volume has been traded in this in this zone. So you need to mark this high volume note area on your chart. That is the key level right now for me at uh, 22,756 write down on your charts i will be writing down on my chart as well 22,756 22,756 right let's mark it six key level Okay, so it's uh, this coming uh, at this, uh, you know, the sing uh, simple moving average twenty twenty, and uh, yeah, that's that's a key level. Yeah, now now uh, weekly and POC, first confluence, second confluence, third confluence, the key level, and the fourth confluence is this TPOC. Okay, so so we have a bunch of level here to make a support uh, cluster for for the upcoming move to the downside because we you see here this is a this is a vector candle and the vector candle is full of imbalances and inefficiencies you can say what is inefficiency inefficiency is when you when a price don't respect any of the uh, bid and ask and it just blasts through the you know levels and it create a lot of single prints leftover orders in the in the vector candle leftovers uh, spread and uh, also the volume gaps also volume gaps is also the same as single prints and tpu inefficiencies so right now uh, we see that we have a tpu inefficiency here uh, let me just oh yeah here you see tpu inefficiencies tpu inefficiencies single prints single prints single prints single prints so we have a bunch of uh, inefficiencies in this uh, you know in this candle uh, you see here in this vector candle. So now what we are anticipating is uh, we, we we can have a, a <clears throat> quick move uh, to the downside or maybe something like this, uh, something like this, and just move up again. So or or maybe the range bound scenario. When you're like for example, just taking the range low, then ranging high, then ranging low, something like this. So uh, in my opinion. 
that is what uh, can happen on Friday or maybe on weekend because Friday is the profit taking day for the smart money in institutions and you know the, the traditional market they usually close their position on Thursday midnight and Friday so they are taking profit so probably we can see some a downside move in the in the in the script uh, bitcoin and also uh, we have already taken the liquidity uh, uh to the upside here you see on the high block uh account i just gave you the example here and just let me just mo uh, zoom in mm. you see here i give you this early uh uh this is a yearly uh heat map uh of the liquidation levels so you see above 25k uh, we have already been taking that liquidity in the cme and there's uh, some of the exchanges so a high chance is that uh, this is already been taking the uh, highs and the liquidity and uh, you know this deviated above this so in my opinion the high chances for the corrective move to the downside is is just increased now and um, uh, yeah so this can take place at any time sooner or later uh, now coming back to this uh, <coughs> uh, this volume analysis uh, the volume analysis is pretty nice and simple as I already told you that this is the buyers were following it you know buyers follow through uh, the pump and then you know you know now, now you see after that pump the buyers are not following through it to the upside and they instead they are following through it to the downside you see it 84 84 uh, uh, 845k uh, is only the volume that has been uh, you know positive delta that is really um you know uh, concerning which is very low comparatively to 38 million and the 3 million so in my opinion that was a really uh, high delta at that time and the volume was really good 135 million on this one hour uh, volume profile so uh, right now i think that this is decreasing uh, to the downside on this red candle the selling pressure is coming in and you can see this one of our uh, volume profile is also indicating me that probably the, there's, uh, there should be high chances that uh, the, the the seller is gonna uh, follow through follow through this uh, this kind of movement you can you can say for example let's come to the downside uh, let me move for example if this uh, one hour candle close right in this negative uh, volume and negative delta then uh, we can see more of the red candle and red uh, delta uh, coming in volume profile which can lead uh, the uh, sellers through it and then more sellers will follow through it and uh, there will be high chances that uh, it will it will make a market structure to the downside filling this all of these uh, uh, naked point of controls on one hour time frame towards 24 and 23 23.6 23.272 22,900 something so it's all of the uh, naked point of controls is, is happening uh, down there since the pump of since from the pump of uh of uh, the lower time frame so now um th 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 this is a concerning uh delta and volume that is not following through right now the price is not acting uh in the up, up direction instead it's stagnant and its absorption is going on right now i feel let's see on the d bars um <clears throat> open interest okay d bars yeah price is above the viva at the moment so it's it's good uh i can't say that it's bearish right now but below losing the viva will be concerning that it's it's now over for for the bulls and it's time for the correction maybe right now price is making lower uh lower highs on trend reversal template and you can see um 
the CVD is also making the lower highs and it's not creating any bearish divergent right now so I can't say that this is uh, absorption or like or the buyers exhaustion right now so it's not like that at the moment and uh, we will see if uh, if if uh, CVD makes some uh, opposite higher highs and price making a lower highs than there then we can say that it's bearish uh, CVD divergent is forming and price is most likely to go down but I don't see it happening right now uh, you see here this is the higher highs and you see higher highs also forming so and now yeah here we can see that this is the bear, bullish divergent that's triggered this rally to the upside towards 25,285 from 24,347 uh, you see this is the bullish divergent is happening there you see higher highs uh, sorry higher lows and the lower lower lows on this price action that is bullish divergent um, rather uh, apart from it uh, I can't see any bearish uh, divergent at the moment if you if you if you see any bearish divergent do let me know on the exo charts okay the open interest is also reasonable here net uh, longs are strong open interest is strong apart from net charts so this is not confirmed that we are turning to bearish right now but i believe that sooner or later we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn to corrective move because uh, as i told you earlier we have a lot of uh, imbalances to the downside we we have uh, taken the sweep sweeping this high already and uh, we are we are below it as a, as a resistance and if we displace above it then we can say something right now it's not the case so now let's get back to this uh, trading light uh, analysis trading line analysis I give this level already that's uh, the tiger when price was here tanking to the downside I gave this area of interest up, uh, after filling the single prints that I told everyone that uh, once these single prints gonna fail I will be bullish towards this target which is 25 around 25k and that exactly happened we, we filled all of these imbalances that I just marked here and um, you know and uh, taking this uh, liquidity area of limit orders uh, from 21,443 you see it's almost take here as well 21,436 you see all of these orders has been uh, absorbed from this thick order line uh, from the heat map of this trading light uh, Binance spot Binance spot means someone was buying on a spot at this prices and they were anticipating the rally and that exactly happened and now what you see here this is uh, above the itchy cloud the itchy cloud is really a good support and resistance indicator you can use for the confluences you see this is the green uh, itchy cloud is happening right now and uh, if we go through it like if we follow uh, our bias that we are saying uh, at here that filling all these imbalances and these tpo inefficiency and volume gaps probably what gonna happen is same same we can we can have a um, you know support at the itchy cloud which is also aligned at 23 something 23,161 so let's get back on the chart let's see what level is uh, this was we were anticipating at that time 22,760 the volume volume level and the high volume note of the TPOC 22,756 so if we see here 22,756 uh, yeah ballpark we can have the same level there 22,825 having some orders here you see these are the orders 22,800 so I think yeah it's it's probabilities are are good for the for the downside taking the liquidity and then bounce of filling all the single prints these are the single prints on the TPU and efficiencies you know so let's see uh, right now we are we are ranging in the value area high and this value area low we are in this range right now 
price is trying to make support above the value area high here and uh, let's see if it successfully make the support or not i can't say anything right now because it's uh, struggling at the moment you see the the selling pressure is coming on the spot 1.96 comparatively to the buy orders so i think that will increase more and more in the up up time because people need to take profit they they usually take profit at these prices this is really a good price you know this is the this is the re resistance area with the with the sale orders um, uh, what we can say like uh, uh, sale orders line um, sale wall yes uh, uh, heat map of the sale wall so the wall is really nice here and it already taken taken this wall uh, and upside you know if to, to if we just move the 292 bitcoins then it's it's really a big wall that has been taken out here already so so it makes sense that price take a take a breath to the downside to take some refueling also we are in the stuck in the initial balance high and the initial balance low initial balance high and low has been created always in the first hour of the daily candle whenever daily candle opens first hour of it is called ibh and ibl low so we have uh, stuck the price in this value high and low on the tpo the, and also the uh, volume profiles this is the volume profile value area high and this is the lower one is the volume area high of the tpo profile so i have all both of them like uh, you see tpo and this one as well so i have both of them on my on my indicator so well this is the conclusion from the you know <clears throat> you see there's some order sitting at 22,800 so it's really a good nice area to look for you know 22,800 previously is is our key level so always write it down on your chart that is our key level okay now let's uh, this is this is enough for today for for bitcoin analysis now i want to talk about really serious stuff uh, the video has been like 27 minutes already I don't want to drag it more more because people will bother to watch the whole video so um, now the, the the really most important analysis is regarding the all coins people are degenerates right now they don't know what to do with their all coins spot bags and i would i would just say them that please try to take some profit off the table if you have uh, some you know already in your all coins on your spot you'll see we are on the resistance area it's by bitcoin dominance and it's it's it's, it's pretty nice bounced bounced off and it is still uh, not looking weak it can it can go more upside you see at 46.79 percent so it's really concerning that uh, you see this channel uh, on the weekly has given the bounce uh, really nicely i was expecting uh, it to go towards this uh, you know this fibonacci uh, golden pocket at this point from the from the highs and lows uh, you see but uh, uh, i think that this is front run the pocket now and it, yeah. this this was the line here the midline of this uh, uh, descending channel so uh, you know it's just uh, it's, it's just bouncing off from from the line and uh, it's not even looking you know you can see here it's not even looking weak on the weekly time frame three days left uh, in the weekly close and it's still looking really strong and in my opinion these this imbalance i am targeting right now on the red the red line so probably this is the target and if uh, you know for what i have already teach you all whenever uh, bitcoin dominance is um, going upside increasing and yes uh, whenever bitcoin dominance is increasing you see uh, if we print any single red candle on four hour candle or one hour candle uh, red candle on bitcoin you will you will see that that all coin will decrease faster than you can imagine okay and if bitcoin keeps you know like for example in the range bound scenario or or 
or stable at that level of 24 25k it's still bitcoin bitcoin dominance is, is increasing like hell so so be careful with your with your spot uh all coins and your long trades in all coins right now uh it will decrease uh vice versa either way you know either way it's gonna decrease to the downside uh the corrective move is really predictable in the all coin because why i'm saying this because you know most of the altcoins are on their resistance area right now simply i'm not gonna take it more to complex or advanced technical analysis on altcoins because it's it's required a lot of time and i don't have time to to make this video uh like above 27 minutes or 50 minutes or one hour so i just giving you the ballpark idea that the resistance area is in right now it's 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 in the resistance zone the the pro the all coins are in their resistance area right now so better to just look for for taking profit and just be patient for your long entries instead and look for the short entries if you want you see here uh the x x the infinity is also at the resistance area here also you know this is the point of interest for a for the x the infinity coin you see here uh, the high volume node is sitting over here so in probably uh, i see that this coin can be can be can can be downside happening here um in seller coin you see that 786 is our resistance area here already been you know marked on the chart seller network coin uh, let's go to the dutch coin dutch coin you see here already you know from this high and the low on the low, one hour time frame swing high and swing low you see this is the resistance area and seven it is also as a resistance area so in my opinion this this makes sense that uh, we are on the resistance on major coins you see here um, if i just take this uh, uh, high and this low swing high and low here of this range uh, from the premium and the from from the premium and discounted area i see that 786 as as rejecting uh, re, re, you know uh, as a resistance you know reacting as a resistance right now uh, so in in matic coin but the, the the time frame is on on macro on one day so on one day you see we have some confluences down there we can also have more confluences if you want to know that this coin is is almost at its uh, resistance area uh, you can just need to uh, just raise your uh, time frames you know this is the order block on you know weekly time frame you see here the dodgy order block on the weekly that is more dangerous area you know also this is called you can say buy side liquidity here sitting at on 1.5060 so this is, uh, in my opinion, the really significant price action is happening on the resistance areas. You need to be careful now because if not now, then when when you are going to be careful in the market, you know, it's not work like that. It's, it's need to be cautious every time, every single time. You need to be cautious with. The, Whenever you see a rally to the upside, it's 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 the time to be cautious, you know. Value a high of this range is, is sitting over here as well on this order block, and seven eight six also eight three two is also above it, you know. Uh, let me just eight three two. Eight three two. Yeah, here we go. So you yeah, know, you know, we have a lot of um, coins. I just choose some of the coins to show you that uh, the probability of the resistance area and the coins as far as the dominance is concerned bitcoin dominance is going really uh you know like crazy it's it's printing a really nice thick uh bullish engulfing uh candle to the upside so i'm really careful anytime bitcoin print a single red candle your stop loss or you might be possible your liquidity might uh, be taken out on all coin it will dump hard then it will pump hard that it will dump hard then it will pump hard that's uh, how it plays out when when uh, dominance is uh, misbehaving with all coins you know so it's possible that we can take the range high of this descending a channel as well so yeah that's it for for all of you today for for the market updates and uh, yeah i want to t talk about the dusk short we are in right now i want to to take I, I, I wanted to take the you know the our entries to 
to trigger oh let me just sorry perpetual yeah here we go you see just front run our entry tpoc and tpo value area high and this um you know i'm just really pissed off right now it 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 tapped our target exactly to the fucking dollar but it front run our short entry so i'm just waiting waiting more for 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 more you know for upside probably can just take our entries and move down or or i have an update for you already in the discord uh in the altcoin session uh, as you can see i gave here that uh, below the grt uh, i gave you the update that we have a strength in angle happening on four hour time frame if uh, our entry doesn't hit and it it hit the trend line on the third touch uh, on this 30 uh, degree 28 degree angle then it's high chances that it can uh, we can have a scalp long from here instead of a short two hour entries of the short so so you need to play vice versa on this okay okay let's um give me give me more time okay i do analyze the chart i will give you more update in the member chat room and the all coins chat room i will be i will be uh, stick to you uh, with you all in um, you know the hydros academy premium join our premium and smash the charge crush the charge with us thank you for your time with us uh, i will be seeing you in the next video take care bye bye